Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of supplies again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe the nobles haven't left the spot. Yeah. Hmm. It's next! He it's does everything! Next. That's it? Think so. Spoke too soon. Heads up! Shit! We're clear. Good. Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. We should stay focused. Never say no to a chance to make some extra cash.
Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Sorry, I need a moment. Ah, another one. Oh, damn it. I need more leverage to move this. <laughs> All right. And we were talking about... Yeah. So, anyway. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. Hey, damn it. The rebels took that sight. There's nothing. We have come. Let's see what we've got here. Hey, notice anything about this statue? It's holding an axe. One of the three symbols on our disc. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something.
Give me a second. I can wait. Shut off. Okay, guess this is a thing. Reset the fountains. Hear that sound? Is there another fountain? Ah, back to where I started now. Damn! Guess I wasn't fast enough. Ugh! <sighs> 
interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. It's not one of our three symbols. Might be worth trading once we get back home. Want anything? Just a token of some kind. Old Poisala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely. I'll be right back. You got it. Purely noted. Time to go. Watch it. I think Asov's men have that side too. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Shiva. Who is the god of destruction? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding all detachments. Exactly. <laughs> this should do the trick. Okay. Going. Going. Ah! Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. <clears throat> a fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Okay. In we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! Oh! <coughs> you all right, Fraser? <coughs> yep, fine. 
Come on down. Right. Now what? Uh, the whole complex is flooded. Let's find a way out. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. There. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. than most men. I thought we were talking about... Ah! Hmm? <laughs> Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <sighs> oh shit, statue moved again. Careful. I don't like the looks of this.
I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. Star and rings. They're all voice alive. I like your descriptions better. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse large jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making an axe. Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. The difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Treasure. Mm -hmm. mm. right. Look at that. Holy hell. 
There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. What well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort in the lake bed is certainly worth a look. And probably that fort above the waterfalls. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's head back to the car. I gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. to that. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Not have company ahead.
Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra 8. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. Go check on it. Yeah, okay. What did you find? We are all clear. Hang on. Shit. What was that? How many are there? Several. There's one on the roof, too. Over there. What do they do? I don't know. But leave them alone until okay. the boss arrives. That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Shall we see about getting that gate open? Good call. What's this? 
Don't know. Seen a few of them around. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. Ugh. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. How about you? That's two. Here's another one. Three down. You. Only one left. <laughs> Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the big wheel thing. <coughs> big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> Nothing. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed about it, Brian. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. 
and the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him a wreath. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. You need to learn what short controlled burst means. Right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Asab fight over it. It's none about themselves. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asab? Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? 
Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been... One sec. <laughs> Marking you down. Things ever simple. What have we got here? Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you sort of sprinkled this place that way? Right. Where were we? Anyway, like I was saying, we'll hold that thought. Where did you put that token you found? Did it somewhere safe? Did you tell us how? <laughs> no, I need to get something worthwhile out of this. <laughs> Watch yourselves! Have a look around.
shit. Nothing here. They must have beaten me to it. Found anything? I think Asav's boys grabbed it. Well, they didn't get far. Maybe they stashed it somewhere. Good point. Stashed it in that supply crate. Okay, so we were talking about. So, as I was saying, where have you been? Ah, oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Wait, <laughs> might be more guys over there, yeah? Look up there. Parashurama's bow. So, Parashurama... Parashurama. Parashurama. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. <laughs> Trained in the martial arts by Shiva himself. But only after conquering the whole world to convince him of his worthiness. That old martial arts right. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Nice to be under that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted. There, there. On the mountain! Here come the others. clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a solve. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Think it's all they know what they're looking for? See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Um... 
Follow me. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Look, it's opening that gate. Perfect. That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, please. <laughs> Show me how it's done. Watch and learn. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. <laughs> Why dream of it? Okay, guess this isn't the way in. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. This will be a bow. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. pieces seem to move the outside ring. Look 
at that. Bana Sharama. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. This is open now. Hey, if you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. One arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Noi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. 
And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this time. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. But that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? <laughs> <laughs> 